Today is one of my favorite days. It's when my simplified order arrives and I'm so excited to go through it. I think that this is one of my favorite releases. Um, there are a couple planner brands that I follow very closely at release time and I watch all of their content and I want to know about every pairing and everything that's happening with their release and simplified is is in the top. It may be the top. Simplified's designs just mesh with my style. This this stuff would fit into like decor in my house. This is very much my style. I love everything that they do and I just truly, truly love these products. So this year I picked up two planners um, and then a few other items. I'm gonna go through it all with you. I'm gonna take a second to unwrap everything. And I did get a couple of items that are not part of the release. Um, one was on sale and the other was just something that I had my eye on for a while. So we'll get into all of that in just a moment. One thing that you get in your box if you order at release time is the simplified post. And there's just different articles in here. It's truly a beautiful little newspaper. Different ideas and different QR codes that you can scan. It talks about the new products. They have like a simplified challenge that they talk about. A few of our favorite things. It's just a, a fun little with a coloring page on the back. A fun little newspaper thing that you get with your order that I always love and I always read every word of it. I think it's so beautiful. Okay, we are going to start off with the actual planners. I ordered a daily and also the new Dapper Desk Weekly, which is new to their line. I guess we'll start off with the new product because I think that's what everyone is the most excited about this year. This is a weekly planner. It is quite large, about the size of a note, like a paper, and they have two colors. They have a beautiful blue, of like a French blue, and I chose this color, which is called Fawn. I think the blue sold out. Um, I think that they both are low on numbers, though. This is a little larger than a letter paper, so this is eight and a quarter. Eight, no, eight and three quarters. 8.75 by 11 and a quarter. So, and it is a little less than a half an inch thick. It's about, they say it's 0.4 and it weighs less than a pound. It's actually quite lightweight. It's 0.7 pounds. The pages inside are eight and a half by 11. So they are like a letter size. It is just stunningly beautiful and simple and I am so excited about this. Let's actually start from the beginning so you can see the beautiful insides of this. This has gold foiling of these little I don't, are they crowns? I think they're crowns or like little buds or something. They're really pretty. The note page or the title page, and then you have a really nice year at a glance calendar here, all your holidays listed over here. And then the amazing month. So I think this month is perfect. I love the big size of the boxes. You do have some notes lines over here. They are very far apart. I wish that they would have done more like a college ruled. This is very, very far, farther than a normal note paper, even like regular wide ruled. It's very wide. August 2023 is when this planner starts. And then this is what the weeks are. So the weeks you have the date at the top and then you have seven columns. So this is a vertical planner and then a notes page over or a notes column over here. The top part is not labeled in any way other than it says today. So you could put your appointments up here. You could do journaling and you could do anything that you want. There's no times listed. It's just a lined vertical. And then down here you have a to-do list. So you could just continue it being, it could be a journal for the full day. I'm actually planning on using this for memory keeping for my family. And so I'm gonna completely disregard the to-dos and put like little pictures down here or something, I think, I think. Um, it's a beautiful, amazing paper. This is the thick 80 pound paper. It's pure white. It has white mylar tabs. So with, and they're written in gold foil on there. Really, really pretty and very, like sturdy feeling. These columns are two inches wide, so they're a little wider than your typical column in like a seven by nine planner, but this is a much, this is a bigger planner than that. The monthly boxes here are 1.75 square, so tons of space to write anything that you need to do. 
and then that is what your month looks like so it just goes directly week after week this is a sewn binding so it's very sturdy and like beautiful beautiful paper and then it goes into the next month it's very streamlined and simple at the very end of the book you do have notes pages there are 39 lined notes pages in the back there is a little note at the top that says notes um which i always think is funny like we know that this is no paper <laughs> but i would rather just have another line there then have a little title and that is it so really simple so so incredibly beautiful it does come with a keepsake box this box is 9.3 by 11.9 by 1 it would be really great for keeping papers or different things or you could store your book in it at the end it is white and has the dapper desk by emily lay listed on it so really simple and beautiful planner i absolutely love this fawn color i think it is i when i ordered they were both in stock and i just fell in love with the fawn color i really liked the blue and i almost purchased it because i knew it was going to be the most popular and i wanted to show the most popular thing but it's actually sold out now so i'm glad that i have the one that they have in stock and i just was drawn more to this color it is a really soft neutral brown it doesn't lean warm it doesn't it's not super cool it's very very neutral tan and it's on like like almost a feminine feel to this color i think it is beautiful truly just i love this planner probably the thing that i get the most excited about with the simplified release is the daily planner so i think this is my favorite daily layout on the market i think it is stunning wire binding is never my favorite and that's the reason that i sometimes stray from the simplified but i love the colored tabs i love so much about it and usually with the covers i have one that i am definitely more fond of than the others and i don't have a hard time picking and this year i went from wanting the happy hour or golden hour to wanting the magnolia and then i thought i wanted a coastal stripe and then seriously while i was checking out i swapped for one that i hadn't even thought of and i picked the antelope and it is just super neutral and beautiful and i'm so excited about it so you always get a little card that tells the story of the design that you chose so this is ivory antelope and by the way the boxes this year are this light blue it is an anniversary year for them I, 15 years is what it says and so they went for this different color box i think they're normally navy and i think this light blue is really pretty so you get this little packet that talks about the video library um the planner coaching, the printable library, the sisterhood, pineapple points, which I don't think are a thing anymore, but um, it talks about just being a part of the simplified community. And I think that's beautiful. I'm going to take a second to take this out of the bubble wrap so you don't have to hear it squeaking and making all the noise. And then I will show you the beautiful cover. This is ivory antelope. It is a beautiful, very neutral cover. It is so incredibly gorgeous and i'm so excited that i went for kind of a more neutral color this year this one has the baby blue nameplate on the back and then the inside of this is navy so each of the the covers has a different inside i almost went for golden hour just because i wanted the yellow inside and yellow is my favorite color um gold the golden hour i just and i loved it but i don't know i just couldn't decide and i love I loved everything about it. So I'm going to show you some of the differences this year with the changes that they made compared to my one from last year. But I'm going to zoom in. And the first thing that you might notice is that there is no pocket in the front cover. And there is a pocket on this side. This is actually on the coil this year. You have a double-sided pocket. It feels much more sturdy than last year's. And one, thing I, one complaint I always had about the simplified pocket is that it was not really usable. Um, it was very tight and you could fit maybe like a sticker page or two in there, one paper. Uh, it does come with stickers this year. They always do a really good job with their stickers, but they are glossy. So, um, you know, you obviously couldn't write on these or anything and they do have a shine to them. I always lean towards matte stickers 
Um, but I do think these are cute. I love the good luck and the cute little KitchenAid darling, darling stickers this year. Just to show you in comparison to my last year, this is what the pocket looked like. It's in the front cover and it um, is just glued on and it's a thin material and I always felt like if I put too many things in here, it would rip. So I never, I never really wanted to put much in there. As you can see, I, I keep my work stickers and then I have their sticker sheet, which I never used, but really cute. <laughs> it was cute last year too. So I'm gonna walk through this planner for those of you who have never seen a Simplified before or who maybe don't know the stats to a Simplified planner. They did make some changes um, to the paper last year and those, those changes have followed through to this year as well. This is an August 2023 to July 2024 planner. The cover is seven by nine and a quarter and it is one and a quarter inch thick. So it's a chunky planner here, but not, it doesn't feel like super, super heavy or unbearably uh, like massive to, to carry around. It weighs two and a half pounds. So that is, that's a substantial planner, but it's not incredibly heavy, I don't think. The pages inside are six by eight and three quarters. It's close to an A5 size planner inside. The paper is 80 pound and it's pure white paper. It's beautiful. I really, Simplified's paper is one of my very favorite. I absolutely love it. So the beginning of a Simplified planner, after the pocket, you have your name page and then you have a letter from Emily, which you could read through how to use your Simplified planner. The next page is a year at a glance, and then you have your 2023 holidays. And then I love their prep pages. So they have a few prep pages. They're very simple and easy. Over here, you talk about what worked last year, what didn't work last year, an idea for new routines and habits. So this is one of my favorite things that they do in their planners. This is ideas for new routines. So over here, you have the days of the week, and you will figure out different routines that you want to add into your life. So this might be um, plant watering days or meal prep days or laundry days or grocery shopping days, different things like that that you're going to assign to certain days and you just know that is when you are going to get things done. It's a way of simplifying your life and kind of having something that you accomplish each day to keep your life easy and more simple. And then down here you have a section for your morning and evening routine. So these are repetitive tasks you want to complete every morning and evening and you list them there and you can refer back to that each morning too. So when I first started doing this, I wrote down the things I wanted to do each day and I would flip to it every morning. I just flipped to this page. I actually kept a little bookmark on this page and I would flip to it and use that as like a checklist until it became a habit and I knew what was on that list and I didn't need to refer back to it anymore. But I do look to this every year and figure out how to tweak my routine and make it better. And I, I just love this, love this page. Um, there's a simplicity challenge. So this is a 30 day challenge that they put on where you achieve to help you achieve a more simple and joyful life. So there's things like walk your home with a trash bag or five, be ruthless, paper, receipts, tags, empty bottles, go. So they actually go through this on their Instagram and they'll post a little prompt or you can just do it any time of the year um, that you want to do it. There's other things like quit something today, just say no, dump out your purse, throw away the trash different things like that, that you can do in 30 days to really simplify your life. And then over here we do uh, your, your yearly bucket list. And I usually color code this to the different areas of my life um, where I have different goals. So I'll have like a family bucket list, a work bucket list, and different things that I want to accomplish within the year. I really love this way. I really love this method of goal planning because it well, first of all, because it's not called goals or resolutions, it doesn't seem quite as scary. It's just some things that you want to fulfill this year. And a bucket list sounds fun. Like these are things that will bring you joy in your life. And I just like checking things off too. So I love that it's a checklist. And each month I will go through and try to figure out how, which of these I'm going to accomplish this month. And I'll sometimes even assign them to a month at the beginning of the year. So I am excited to fill that out this year. And then you have two notes pages for like how many notes pages? 
eight notes pages before you start on the month of August. So these boxes here are smaller. I really like this monthly layout, but I know that some people wishes, wish that this was like bigger boxes and utilize a little bit more. You have to remember this is an A5 planner, even though it looks kind of chunkier because it's on a wire all binding and it has a hard cover. These are A5 pages. So they're similar in size to like the A5 calendar in of Erin Condren or different A5 calendars. Well, we might as well measure them. So this is one and a quarter by one and a little over a quarter. So they're basically one and a quarter squares. And then you have your month before, month after. You have a simplicity tip. So the first one says, use this month to clear the clutter in your home. Walk your house with two trash bags, one for the items to donate and one for the items to discard. And you have different one each month that you can kind of look to. They do have holidays written in these months as well. They're written in a really light gray. And so if you don't love holidays written on your months, especially when you have such a small box, I don't feel like they're obtrusive and they are easily ignorable or erasable, not erasable, but white outable. You know, you can do whatever you want with them. And I just ignore them. They're not that, that big of a deal. Simplified has these beautiful Mylar tabs. I love the color of Simplified tabs. I think they're beautiful. They are not rounded, so they're, they're well, a little. They're a tiny bit rounded. They're not like sharp, but they are these just cute square tabs that I love. So these are their happy stripe colors. You have navy, like blues, then turquoise greens, yellows, and then it goes into your pink colors down there. So this is what the days look like. Very, very simple. You have your schedule on this side, your to-dos on this side, and then a notes section at the bottom. If I were to create this, I would just pull these both down. <laughs> so you had like a full schedule and a full to-do list, but I also know that some people like to, I usually put like a quote down there or a cute sticker or um, the weather. I do different things all the time in mine. And I think it's, it's perfectly fine. There are some colors in this planner. They're not super obtrusive. The colors show up in the little flag, the date, my day to do, and notes. So as you can see, they really don't stand out that much. The flag is probably the thing that does the most. And they are by day. So every Monday is this navy, every Tuesday is this aqua color, and then a lighter aqua for Wednesday, green for Thursday. Friday is the my favorite. <laughs> Friday is my favorite day and my favorite color. So Friday is the yellow and then you have pink and like this deeper reddish pink for Saturday and Sunday. And as you can see, Saturday and Sunday are sharing a day, which I like. I know some people don't, but weekends for me are incredibly busy, which you'd think you'd, that I would want two days because they're busy, but I have games all day with the kids and I have different events and date nights and church things. And honestly, that these are the days that I don't pull out my planner as much because we're just on the go all the time. I'm not really accomplishing that much like to do list wise. I do that during the week and the weekend is about, you know, running errands, getting, um, going to my kids games and different things. And I just don't, I just don't use my planner quite as much as I do on a weekday. And so I love the way that they've laid this out. I like to just kind of look at it for my schedule and be done. So they did make changes to the weekend this year, which I'm really excited about. Let me show you the last year's. So here's the weekend from last year. And as you can see, they've made them two vertical columns, which I so much prefer. Last year, they were these horizontal areas and you would have my day and to do and on Sunday, they would give you the four Sunday prep items, which I actually love, but I also feel like this is a better way to go because not everyone does these things. So the Sunday prep used to be plan meals ahead, tidy up um, for a clean slate on Monday, write task appointments for the week, fill your tank. And the problem I had with them, although I really love those to do's is I didn't always do those on Sunday. In fact, a lot of these things were Saturday for me or Friday. And so it bothered me a little bit that they were taking up space on my Sunday when those that Sunday is generally not the day I do those. So I'm glad that they're taking them out. 
Um, and they also don't have a happy memory from the week area like they did last year on Sunday. They have this like blank place here that you could write a happy memory. So now they're vertical. You have a full schedule here, a full schedule here. You had no times last year. Um, a short to-do list for each of those days and then a, a short note section down here. And I really like it. It's perfect. It's exactly what I would want because my days are really busy on these times and I'm not like checking off tons of to-dos. I really need more of time blocking and I didn't really, I didn't get any time times over here. So each day the times go from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. on the weekends and on normal days. And it just goes like that throughout the month with the different pages. I seriously love the weekends. And then the tabs are on the month. So there is no notes page or any blank pages in between the months. It's perfect. I love how they do this. And so it's just a really, really simple planner. And because there are, it's just such a thick planner and there's so many pages and you know, a lot of, a lot of planners can't do a daily on one coil. They'll split it into two or split it into quarters. And this is all in one book. So there aren't tons of notes pages in here just for that purpose. I want to show you the month colors really quickly. This is August. It's this gorgeous Navy. September is this like French blue. October is a lighter blue. And as you can see on the month, Right here is the only color that you're getting, the tab and then the matching little title. November, aqua, December is like a deeper turquoise. Um, green, or January is Kelly green. February is a lime green. March is really beautiful yellow. April is this baby pink. And then these colors just kind of go like darker and darker pink. May is a deeper pink. June is an even deeper pink. And then July is this almost red pink color. So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. At the very end of the book, you get one notes page and that is it. So that's the only notes page you have and probably because the year ended on this side of the page, then they just needed a notes page because normally there's no notes pages. At the very end of the book, you have a really beautiful cover, ending cover. This book does have these really beautiful corner protectors. And so with this, you get these items that I showed and it is just stunning. You know, I really, really love the cover choice that I chose. I do think that they're all beautiful. I, I seriously had the hardest time choosing this year and I usually do not. I usually just, just know, like I'll see them and I'll be like, yep, that's the one for me. This year it was just so hard to choose. So they did a great job. Before I get into the accessories that I chose, I just wanted to show you how, I just think, I know this is maybe like more subdued color palette. It's kind of a non-color palette, but I think it is so beautiful. I love these two paired together. It feels just elegant and classy. And I am so, so excited about both of these. So I love the Emily Lay pens. They are a splurge pen that I actually think are really, really good. And I love them. Um, they've changed them this year, so I'm nervous because I really, really loved last year's pens and the years that they've had. Um, these are thinner and they have a pack that's more colorful and then they have this pack that has the coastal stripes and the ivory antelope on it so i don't know if you can even see these colors so they're both just really subtle i probably would have picked the other one but i wanted it to match my cover okay so they're very thin um and they're a twist up they're ballpoint i'm really nervous about these um i don't know why just because i loved the last year's one so much and I, like, I'm always like, don't mess up a good thing. So I'm gonna test them in my current, I don't wanna write in my new stuff yet, but I'm gonna test them in my current planner. Let's see. Is there a notes page? Okay, we'll just test it on this back page because I didn't use. Oh, it writes really nice. Um, is it my favorite pen in the whole world? No, and is it ballpoint? Yes. But they are really smooth and they write really beautifully and I actually think the thinner barrel makes it a little harder to hold on to a little bit. And like ballpoint pens, 
you might want to scribble with it for a second before writing because it skips. And if you like ballpoint, these are really high quality ballpoint pens. Um, excuse me that I didn't know how to spell antelope. These pens are $28 for the set. They are pretty heavy weight. They're metal and they feel, they feel just really nice in hand. They are 1.0 millimeter ballpoint pen and they are refillable. One problem that I have with them is actually this new skinny barrel. Um, I don't know why I put ballpoints. Ballpoints. <laughs> anyway, the skinny barrel I find is a little harder to hold on to. I prefer a thicker barrel. I just think it's easier to control and to keep my handwriting nice. But I do think that these are really beautiful pens. They write really nice on the Emily Lay paper. And I would, I would recommend if you like ballpoint pens. Another new item I picked up is this ginger jar pouch. It is so cute. <laughs> I love the colors. The funny thing is I got the big navy pouch last year and although they're a different style, they're similar. Like you can definitely tell that they're sister pouches. Um, and I didn't, I don't know why I wasn't, I wasn't really totally thinking when I purchased this. The reason I bought it is because I loved the way that the fawn and this pouch went together. I just thought that they were so beautiful. So I thought that I had to have it, obviously. Um, if you want to see the pouch with the daily, it is equally a great pair. All three. It's just a beautiful little um, combo. This pouch is $30. It's quite large. It cannot fit the Dapper Desk in it. It's The Dapper Desk is too big, but it can fit the daily or the weekly, the normal weekly. This planner pouch is 9 by 12 It has a really beautiful golden zipper with this cute pineapple. Mine's still wrapped up. And inside is this like Carolina blue. It's really cute. So I do think that they, I mean, they're, they're pricey pouches. It's $30. So I think that they are really, really high quality. And I use them when I travel. I don't necessarily put my planners in them, but I love this for travel. I keep all my electronic um, things in there, like the different chargers and different things that I need to bring with me when I go when I travel. But I think it is just stunning. It really, really is beautiful. I picked up two of the notebooks. I don't know why I they have this one that I has a yellow floral on it. I'll put a picture right here. And it is so incredibly gorgeous. And I had it in my cart. And I think I took it out because I was mourning that it wasn't a daily cover. I don't know why they didn't make that a daily cover. It would have been in my cart so fast. I would have zero decision. I think of even all the covers that they put out this year, all of their notebook covers, all of their pouch things, it is the most beautiful of all the patterns. And I... I would love if next year they would make that. I don't think they ever do that sort of thing where they take an old pattern and make it a cover, but if they did that, it would be like a dream come true because I love yellow and I know Golden Hour was yellow, but for some reason the pattern didn't didn't jive with me as much as as that one. I just love it. Anyway, Blush Magnolia seems to be like the pattern that everyone's the most excited about. So I decided that I would pick up a mini notebook in this. Mine came a little bent. I'm kind of bummed, but it's fine. I put it in my purse and it gets bent anyway. But these are just these really cute, so these are stapled um, notebooks. And I always have one in my purse at all times. I take little notes or different ideas that come. And I think that this is beautiful. It has gold foiling on it. And the pattern is just absolutely gorgeous. These are $10. This is called a mid-size notebook. It's different. I mean, I think it's new this year. This one is sewn. You can see the stitching on the side. And this one is the Carolina Gingham. I had the watercolor wildflowers in my cart, and I think I just, I just, I don't know why I felt like I took it out because I was mad about it not being a cover. I wasn't mad. I wasn't mad, but I was, I was sad. And so I just didn't buy it. Isn't that silly? I don't know why I did that. But I think this one's cute. Gingham is like my favorite pattern. I could have gingham all over my house. And is this not super cute? I think this is the re main reason why I did this. I think just thought these three kind of just went so well together. These are $12, $10 and $12. These are a little bit bigger at six and a half by nine. They are super lightweight, obviously small, but I love the sizing of this. They're lined. This one is also lined. And 
it's just a great little carry and I love having these around. I use them all the time. The last thing I chose from their new line is one of their pen clips. This is the brass pen clip and I got the Carolina color. It's really pretty blue. They look like this. They come in navy, the blush sold out, and then this color. And um, they will clip on to any cover. So they can clip on to the Dapper Dust and they're very sturdy. And they can hold these thin pens but you, and they're very sturdy, but you can also put them on, um, thicker pens can fit into it as well. And they just go so nice with any cover. I feel like they would go with anything. So I love the way that it looks. I like that it's not permanent. I know a lot of companies sell pen clips that like tape on or glue adhere to the cover and they're permanent. And I just like that this one I can move around. I can move it to whatever space I think it needs to be or from planner to planner and it's just a beautiful color. I think this like Carolina blue is so nice. It's like a very gray toned blue and really, really gorgeous. Okay. And then I picked up a couple of things that were not from their new release. The fr I love their hats and this one says hi friends and I have the white one with the pineapple, but, um, I wanted to get this one because the white hat gets dirty <laughs> and I wanted a dark color and this was on sale for six dollars so I picked it up and I think it's cute and it's going to be my soccer and football watching hat and then very very last I picked up one of their art prints this is the family rules art print it has gold foil if you can't tell and I don't want to take it out of its package because I don't have uh, a safe place for it to be and I don't want to get any fingerprints or anything on it for now but it says be kind use manners always listen love big and I think it's darling I'm gonna put it in my kitchen and I think it's just cute and will go perfectly with my decor thank you so much for watching my simplified haul and review I think that simplified is such a gorgeous company. I love what they stand for and all that they teach and the focus of the women who are there. And I just think it is such a great company to support. If you guys have any questions, you can leave a link below. I do have a $15 off um, link for those of you who have never purchased from Simplified before. I'm not an affiliate with them right now, but I do have a like to know it that you can purchase from if you don't want, do want to support me if you purchase a simplified planner um and that is it i hope you guys have an amazing day i am so grateful for you guys being here and i cannot wait to dive into my new simplified planner i have just loved using it last year and i really do think it's a great tool for simplifying and creating systems and making your life just a better, more joyful life. So anyway, have an amazing day. I'll talk to y'all very soon. See you. Bye.